round of applause, big round of applause. Boom, that's what I use that right there for. So, 
Like I said, the gauntlet, perfect drying towel. I love it. You get it at the rag company. It's the 900 GSM. It's a 7030 poly, polyester uh, polymer blend, and it's the best. You can get the, either get the 15 by 24 or get the uh, 12 by 12 joint. It's a hybrid twist loop. The rag company. Get it. The gauntlet. <laughs> the gauntlet. I love this towel to be doing my to, to do all the drying on. Anyway, going on to the next side. Boom. You can also get this right here at the rag company. This right here is the platinum cluffer. I like that name, the Platinum Pluffle. You know what I'm saying? I get this right here, I think it's like the 16 by 24, if I'm not mistaken, 16 by 24 joint. I like this size right here for that. I use it right here, and it's real soft too. I wish I could see how, I'm gonna do a close up on it so I can show y'all how soft it is, man. But this thing here is, ooh, it's immaculate. I use it right here, and then I also come in and get the boom, 16 by 16. It's perfect in the hand, you fold up the fours, boom, bam. Come through with the with the final wipe down and spray spray wax spray sealing. You know what I'm saying? Once you get final wipe down, your final inspection, I use these towels right here. Or I come in whenever I'm doing a uh, paint correction or laying down some wax or polishing. I use this right here to wipe it off because I never know if the paint is gonna be hard paint or soft paint. So these towels right here is pretty safe to use on soft or hard paint because you don't want to come in with like a hard towel and trying to wipe off any kind of uh, polish or compound or a wax and you start putting micro uh micro mar in the paint you won't want to start doing that because you're using the wrong kind of towel a wrong wrong towel is a no-go you know what i'm saying so you come in with the platinum pluffle that you can get from the rag company like i said i'm not for, i'm not sponsored by nobody but I, i'm gonna tell y'all what i use because i love to use it you know what i'm saying and it's and it really works it really gives me the results the products that i want so i'm gonna you know what i'm saying share my little secret let y'all know what's up boom like I said, the platinum club will come in two different sizes. We're coming up most, they come in, but they come even bigger than this though. But this right here is a 16 by 24. I like using this size tab. Like I said, I'm gonna go closer so y'all can see like the softness of it. Um, but yeah, and I got the 16 by 16 joint. Boom, I use that. Like I said, I use this, this like if you didn't hear, I use it for my final wipe down, my final inspection. So when I come through, I can wash it from the car, I can clean it, I can dry it. Coming back to just do my inspection just to get if I got any hot spots or something like that. When I uh with my spray wax or my spray sealants, whatever I come through, wipe it down with this right here. I spray my sealing on, spray my wax down, come through final, final wipe down, give it that final gloss, that pop, that mm, you know what I'm saying, that little swap up, you know what I'm talking about, that little you know what I'm talking about, that uh-huh. Boom. Anyway, that's that fat fluff. That's why I use that right there for. Next, I go to auto fiber, the quadrant. <laughs> They call this right here the Mr. Everything. You know what this right here is the quadrant tab. So you can use this right here whenever you do uh, ceramic coatings. So they got, as you can see, they got the numbers on it. One, two, three, four, flip it over, five, six, seven, and eight. So this tab right here, oh my God, it's amazing. So this right here is the tab, and, and these pink ones as well, because it has the same, it has the same amount of GSM. It's 390 GSM, it's a 16 by 16. They call it the Mr. Everything, whatever. I, these right here does not have the numbers on it because they ran out of them because everybody used them. Everybody used these towels to um, to wipe off the ceramic coating, to do the initial wipe off on the ceramic coating. So since they didn't have the exact ones with the numbers on it, I just got the towel without the numbers on it. But these, these numbers come in handy. So let me tell you about these numbers. So you fold the towel up in fours, okay? Fold the towels up in fours. Like I said, you get this right here off auto, off auto fiber. You fold them up at four, it's a 16 by 16, 390 GSM, the Mr. Everything tab, that's what they say. But you fold it up at fours, you know what I'm saying? You got the number right there, one, two, fold it inside out, boom, you got three, you got four. Because once you wipe it out, when, when you don't ever want to misconfuse, you don't want to confuse yourself, I'm sorry, you don't want to confuse yourself on what side of the tablet you're on when you're wiping off any kind of products off the paint, especially when it comes to coatings, because after a while, the coating will start getting clogged on the side of here inside the towel, and then uh, after a while it'll start crystallizing and hardening, and then you can possibly start to scratch and mar the paint. You don't want to do that. So you wipe it off a few times with uh, off, of, uh, off of one panel on one. Then once you get done using this this side on one, you flip over the two. You use this side, you got a fresh side. Boom. Two. So this way you never lose what side of the towel you're on, which side of the towel you're using. That's why I love these quadrant towels. Like I wish they had more, like I said, they were sold out because everybody used them. So
So I was just smart enough to go ahead on and get uh, just the, the regular kind of tile without the numbers on it. But uh, yeah, you flip it again, you got size what? Three, bang. You flip it again, you got four, bang. So it's like, you can use this towel for them. Damn, they're almost the whole ball. Then once you finish using that whole side, you flip it inside out and start over. Five, what's that? Six, seven, eight. You know what I'm saying? So you can leave. You can look, you can use this whole towel to move out all the coating off of one car. And so this is what I use this towel right here for. It's this towel and these towels right here. Boom. Then I move on to this right here. Let me see if I got this one. Let me see. It's like the same towel, but it's a, a, a it's an ultra plus. They call it the Korean quadrant. The Korean the Korean quadrant towel. This right here is the leveling towel. So after you're finished you did your, your initial wipe off with the coating, you'll come off and I come with this towel. It also has numbers on here. I was look I looked up and got a whole bunch of these towels right here. But they had a lot of stock, so I got those. So but these right here is an ultra plus. I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do a, um, a close up on these right here too so you can see. But you see it also has the numbers on it. This right here is the leveling tab. So once you come through and you did your initial first wipe off with the um, with the ceramic coating, and you, you may possibly still have a few little hot spots. So you come in with this one right here that's extra soft and you're gonna be marring the paint or, or, or overloading your, your coating and wipe it off. Leveling, leveling off the coating that you put on the car. It's perfect. I love these towels. I love these towels. And let me tell you something. Let me give you a secret about these towels. <laughs> Don't tell nobody. Wait, when you, whenever you, um, whenever you do a ceramic coating on the car, and you know you use your towels, this and the other, you always need to put the towels that you use inside a separate bucket because you never really want to use those towels again, unless you do what I do, and I, I fill me up a bucket. With uh with uh half vinegar and half distilled water, and I set my towels inside of that so the coating can kind of dissipate off of the towel. Now once I let it, I let it oversaturate inside the towel, and I literally let it oversaturate. Like I dunk it inside there, let it sit there for at least about a day. You know what I mean? And then so it can release all the coating that came off of the uh that, that, I, that I put on the towel, and I put it inside the washing machine and dry this that or other. And then once I get done with it, the towel it can still be used again. So that means I know I know with some coatings, like some people you use your coating and then after like a day or so, your towel crystallizes and it get real hard and you don't want to use that towel again, so you just throw it away. And sometimes you a lot of people they'll use this this yellow towel, which I'll get to in a minute, that you it's a curtain towel, it's like an all-purpose towel. But people use it a lot to remove the coating. But I use that, you know what I'm saying, once I get down there. But that's just a little tip, a little secret. You could uh, make you a bucket with half vinegar, half distilled vinegar, and half distilled water. And you dump your, uh, like, when I say a bucket, I mean a bucket. Like, you know what I'm saying, a five gallon bucket. You put your towel inside there once you get finished using it with your ceramic coating so that it won't, uh, the, 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 it won't uh, get, it won't be available. It won't, it won't be able to be able to crystallize, the coating won't be able to crystallize the towel and the towel won't get hard so that you basically just wasted the towel. No, you can actually use that towel again. So, that's a little tip, that's a little secret. Hopefully y'all got that. But like I said, it's right here is for the initial wipe, uh, the quadrant towel, the auto fiber that I use to remove my ceramic coatings. It's it's amazing. Takes off the, takes off the coating with no problems, no matter how thick the coating is, just that another. Then I come through with the final wipe down, the leveling, with the ultra plus towel, the Korean, the Korean quadrant from auto fiber, as you see, the name is right there. Boom, auto fiber. Is where you can get these tabs I heard from, you know what I'm saying, to get out any hot spots. So it won't, so, so, you, so it will alleviate the hot spots that'll be on the paint. So, anyway, next song we go to, we're back with the rag company, Drop Me a River. <laughs> Drop Me a River. I love that name. Reminds me of Justin Timberlake, Crop Me a River. Crop Me a River. Specifically, specifically, and only for the windows and glass. Only window and glass. So I have a 16 by 16, 70 30 blend. So 70 uh, polyester, 30 polyamide uh, blend. And so it's like here's a waffle weave. 
It's a waffle bean tag. So it's perfect for the windows, doesn't leave any kind of streakings or this, that, and the other. I use this specifically. I'm a blue tag, I use this specifically, specifically for the windows and the glass, the mirror, this, that, and the other, woop to woop, wop to wop. You know what I'm saying? So these right here, like I, like I, I literally have all my towels. Like, so if I have, okay, for example, if I have someone come work with me, right? Like a new guy come work with me, I let him know the different towels that I use for specifically for this application. And he can tell by the colors. He know, he see these towels over here. My uh, towels, the, uh, the uh, gauntlets are specifically for drying the car. Exterior of the car, that's it, that's out. The pluffles is specifically for the final wipe down or removing polish or compound off of the car. That's it. These two are here specifically only for ceramic coating purposes. I don't even use these towels on a daily basis because I don't do ceramic coatings on a daily basis. So these right here rarely even get used. But when I do you do a ceramic coating, these are the towels I'm using. These right here are only, only, only for the windows. It's blue, so you would know. Okay, when I see a blue towel, I need to be using this only for the windows and glass. These, these towels right here, the, uh, the platinum pluffles are, are, are only for final wipe down, polish and removal, wax removal, or, you know what I'm saying, that's it. Now I got the, uh, these right here, the, uh, the gauntlets are specifically for drying the car. The smaller gauntlets are specifically for when you do the uh, blowing out the air, blowing the water out of all the creases with the air. Specifically for that, that's it, that's all. You don't use it for nothing else. Okay, so now we move on to the Creature Edgeless 420 GSM. You can these right from the Red Company. It's a dual pile, dual pile towel, so which means it's a different kind of uh, uh, towel, a different kind of pile towel on this side than it is on this side. So it's dual. It's like basically having two towels in one. When I say pile, I mean pile, P-I-L-E. So I put that aside there, whatever. But yeah, I use these towels right here specifically and only for the interior. So when I say I'm coming through, I'm cleaning out my plastics, uh, uh, the cup holders, door panels, this, that, and the other. These black towels are only used for the interior of the car. That's it, that's all. These towels right here come in handy, I love them. Um, they do perfect on all of the interior uh, uh, compartments on the car. I actually, then I actually come in and I give me a dry one. I wouldn't even really put nothing on it. I use a dry one and I would use this and softly wipe down the screens on cars. Um, it's, it's, man, it's, it's a most purpose towel. You know what I'm saying? I love it. So these right here, the black towels, like I said, these right here, the Creature Edgeless. And it's edges because it comes in and they cut off the edge. So you know how this right here has this little edge, it's like a, it's, there is no edge. This right here has this dark blue edge on it. There's a difference. This right here is not edgeless. Boom. This right here is edges, it has no edge. It has no, no, um, no stitched edge, nothing like that. These right here are edges, edges, you know what I'm saying? So these right here are the, the Creature Edges that you get from the Rad Company. I use these specifically for the interior. The black tabs are specifically for the interior. 420 GSM, the 16 by 16, 7030 blend, Creature Edges from the Rad Company. Again, like I said, I'm not sponsored by none of these companies. I'm not sponsored by the Rad Company, I'm not sponsored by Auto Fiber, but these are the towels that I use on a regular basis. Every day, these are towels that the detailer himself uses on a regular basis. And to get the results that I get from it, I had to share with y'all that y'all know that these are the towels that I use. You know what I'm saying? Like people ask me all the time, like, what you use, what you use, what you use? I'm giving you the game, bro, right now. These are the towels that I use, bro. So moving right on. Then we have the Edgeless 365. It's basically like the Creature Edges, but it's a little bit different. This right here has 365 GSM. Now I only use this as a Terry towel. I only use this one right here for the wheels and the uh, trunk jams and door jams, like the dirty stuff like that. I only use this right here for that. So it, um, these gray tiles that only get used for that and that only, that application only. I don't, I don't put it on nothing else. And, I, on a, and the reason why you have to split up your tiles on what you have the specific uh, applications for is so that you won't cross contaminate and possibly mar the paint or, you know what I'm saying, damage, damage the paint, this, that, and the other, because you can use the wrong kind of pile, or the wrong kind of towel, excuse me, the wrong kind of towel on the wrong, on the wrong car or in the wrong way. Meaning, if you use something like, uh, I would say, I would say this towel right here on a paint that's soft. You have hard paint, you have soft paint. 
So if you use this kind of time right here, it's not really, it's, it's, it's gonna be kind of tough to be using on soft paint. Soft paint meaning that if you if you can you if you uh if you can like wipe across the uh, the car the wrong way, you'll see a little micro mark, which means like a little scratch or how some people would say it's like little spider webs inside the paint. That comes from using the wrong kind of tiles on your car. You may have hard paint, you have soft paint. Hard paint means that you can use a rough tile on it or a semi-rough tile on it and that it won't really damage it too much. But at the same time, it can be hard to do paint correction on it because of how hard the paint is. Now with soft paint, it can be even harder because you have to find out your different combinations, which is gonna be, I'm, I'm going way left right now. What, what I'm gonna be way left right now. You know what I'm saying? Because you can use the wrong kind of tile, the wrong kind of combination pad, or the wrong even kind of compound on the soft paint. So you don't want to do that. So this is why you have specific tiles. As a detailer, we have to have specific tiles that we use for specific applications on the car. You can't use any other tile. You can't come inside your house of a detailer if you're using a uh, uh, drying tile that you use when you get out of the shower or a uh, 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 beach tile. You cannot come inside her and, and do that on a Ferrari. You're gonna mess that paint up. And a lot of these cars out here today, they have all these microfiber, or they have all these, uh, I'm sorry, micro marring inside of the paint. It's due to people using the wrong kind of tiles on the paint, not knowing what kind of paint that uh, your client has, or this, that, and the other. So a lot of people ask, what's causing all these scratches on the paint? Well, how are you drying your car? How are you washing your car? because you may be using the wrong kind of towel, or you could possibly be using a brush that's, that's never a go, never a no-go. So if you're using brushes on cars, you're lame, bro. Stop using brushes on cars. That's a no-go. That's just like you drive through a drive-through car wash. You know what I'm saying? And that's another thing. Since we're there, I might as well go ahead and take it there. You're going through a drive-through car wash. Let me tell you something. Now those little spinning things, little spinning brushes or whatever, this, that, and whatever that you drive your car through, they never come through once after each car and clean the, the brushes that they, that they just used on, your, on their car. So that means if, the, if a mud truck, think about it from this way, if a mud truck, somebody who goes mud inside the truck, which means they go off-road inside the truck, if they go through there to get their car washed, right? Now all those rocks and dirt and grime that, was off, that came off of that truck, it's now on those bristle brushes that's, that's, uh, that's spinning around inside of that car wash. Now they didn't come through and clean those brushes or bristles or whatever after that, after that uh, mud truck just drove through. They didn't come through and clean those brushes. Now you come through inside your black Ferrari or your black um, Lamborghini or your black Lexus or your black, you know what I'm saying, whatever car you have and you come in right behind this dude with the mud truck and go through and try to get a car wash. So now all that dirty grime that was on them brushes are now hitting your car at full speed, hard, hard. You know what I'm saying? Hard. You know what I'm saying? And it's getting on your car, and that's why they're causing all these micro marring inside of your car, all these swirls inside of your car. And then they come through once you get done with that. They come through with the wrong tiles at the car wash and come through brushing. You know who? 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 Because they believe the quantity over quality. No, sir. When you get a detailer, a reputable detailer, we care more so about the quality more than the quantity. So that's why when some people come in, they say, yeah, I did nine cars, I did this. Bro, you didn't do no nine cars. All you did was wash the cars. You didn't detail these cars. Because now when you get a detailer, you tell them, you, hey, all I, I did was two or three cars today. I'm good with that. Two or three cars a day, that's good. Because now you're charging whatever. I ain't going to tell y'all what we're charging, but you know what I'm saying? It's, you know what I'm saying? It's quantity over quantity, not quantity over quality. Because that person who's doing quantity over quality is not gonna last long. So that's why, let me get back to what I'm talking about. That's why you have to use the specific kind of tiles and the right applications on the right kind of car with the right kind of paint. Everything has to align up in order for you to get the results that you want to, uh, for your cup, for your client to wanna call you back. So, Tile. Anyway, now let's move on to the last one. This right here is the Kirkland tile. Everyone knows about this. It's an 8020 blend. You can get this, purchase these right here uh, from your Costco uh, store, wherever inside the neighborhood. These right here is like an all-purpose tile that I probably use just for whatever. You know what I'm saying? I don't use this really more so on the paint 
I use it for if I don't if I if, if these towels out here are dirty or I don't have no more towels to use for the interior, I use it for the interior, or I use it for the uh, a tire or uh, something like that. This right here is the most purpose towel you can use for. I don't use this to try to wipe off no waxes. I don't use this for removing coatings. That's just me. I know some people who do use these for coatings. I used to until I found out about these towels. I mean, until I found out about these towels. Excuse me. So. I veered away from using these on right here on removing coatings just because I had started to find myself sometimes it would still leave a little micro mar in the paint and I didn't like that so I went to these right here which is the um the um the Mr. Everything tiles from Iowa Fire with the quad the quadro tiles. So these right here the tiles I said I, I went to for removing uh, ceramic coatings. But these right here, like I said, it's an 820 blend. You can purchase these right here from Costco. It comes 36 in a pack. It's like 10 or 15 dollars. It's like a throwaway towel. Like you can use this or whatever. You don't care if you get messed up. You throw it away. You can. You can. It comes in a pack of 36, bro. A pack of 36 for like 10 or 15 dollars. You're not losing. You know what I'm saying? It's a multi-purpose towel. You can use it on whatever, but other than the paint. Sometimes you can use it on the paint. Sometimes you can't. It just depends on the application. It depends on what kind of uh, paint you have. Hard or soft. If it's soft paint, I'm sure as hell not gonna use this towel on no soft paint. I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna stay right here in, in this little rim right here. Right here. These towels right here are made for soft paint. You can't mess up the car with soft paint with these towels right here. You cannot. This right here is where I stay. That's why I'm, I wanna show y'all the towels that I use on the river. So, let's recap. Let's go back. The comfort towel is my drying towel. When I use this towel, I use this with my favorite paint sealing or my, my favorite spray wax. It's gonna be the uh, PNS Paint Gloss and PNS Bead Maker. I use these towels right here. It's a 16 by 24. Um, no, I'm sorry, 15 by 24 uh, towel. That's that size. And I have the same exact towel, the 12 by 12. And I use this towel right here whenever I come through and I, and I use my blower and I come through and spray out a. Uh, from like behind the lights, behind the door, uh, from behind the door handles, all the trim. I spray all the water out from everywhere out of the car to make sure once, once you drive off, there's no car that's gonna be, I mean, there's no water that's gonna be leaking out from any cracks or crevices of your car because I done blew everything out with my uh, with my pressure, with my, with my pressure air. I use these towels to encapsulate the water that comes out from, um, from those creases. And I also, excuse me, I also use my favorite spray wax or spray seal, whichever one I'm using at the time, PNS B Maker or PNS Gloss, uh, Paint Gloss, I'm sorry. I spread it on the towel, boom, 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 oversaturated, and I come through with my blower, and I'm catching all the water with this, which is I'm leaving a light layer, a sacrificial layer of wax or protecting on the paint, which gives it that final gloss and hydrophobic properties. Those towels, that's why you use right here for. Now, I come through with my platinum fluffer towel that you can get also from the Red Company. Um, for these right here, right here, my final right there, my final inspection towel. These right here are ultra soft. I love these things to death. So I have these right here in a 16 by 24, and I have these right here, the same towel in a 16 by 16. I use them in the same application. The same application. So I also use, oh, I'm sorry, I also use these right here to remove uh, polishes and waxes too. So. I use it for my final wipe down, my final inspection, and then I use it for removing polishes or waxes off the cars. So these are here the platinum plug that you can get from the Rad Company. It's 490 GSM. Let me make sure I put this back the right way. Boom, 490 GSM. It's a Korean split uh, circular knit weave. That's right here is what these right here are, the platinum plug. Then I come through removing the ceramic coatings with the uh, the, with the Korean quadrant. This right here is a leveling one. This right here is the initial wipe off with the ceramic coating. Like I said, this right here has numbers on it so you can never lose where you are on the tile. You know that you're on one, two, three, four, five, six, or seven, or eight. You fold it up in fours, and you have that specific side that you're using, which is one. You use this whole side a few times, switch over to two, you use this whole side. And once you get to eight, you put the towel inside of that book that I was telling you about with vinegar and distilled water so it can start killing the, the ceramic coating properties that you put on this towel. So these right here, the same towel as these don't have the number on it because these, like I said, these right here were sold out. Hope I'm not speaking too fast because I kind of have a tendency of talking fast and I hopefully you can catch on to what I'm saying. But I use these right here for the leveling after I did the initial wipe off with the ceramic coating. So I use this right here to make sure to assure that I don't, I don't have any hot spots 
with this towel here. It's very soft towel. You know, it low key kind of feel and looks like the Platinum Plus when I see it. But I mean, side by side. But anyway, you get, yeah, those are your also numbers, so you only use that for that application. Next is the Drop Me a River Towel from the Rad Company. I only use these for windows, mirrors, and glass. Only these towels. And it's, like I said, everything is color coded, so I know exactly what I'm using this towel for. Once I see it, I know I use this only for the windows. I use this only for such and such and such. Only for such and such and such. This, that, and the other. Drop Me a River, windows only, micro, uh, waffle weave towel, 16 by 16. Those ones I use for my windows. 70 30 blend, 70 uh, percent uh, polyester, 30 percent uh, polyweed. So come in with the Creature Edgeless, also from the Rad Company, only for the interior only. The Creature Edgeless, edgeless 420 GSM, dual pad. I'm gonna do a close up on all these tiles so you can see it and it's kind of see exactly what I'm talking about. It's a dual pad, so it's dual, it's two tiles in one basically. So, uh, so since I have the 16 by 16, 70-30 blend, again. All these towels are 70-30 blend, man, that's crazy. 70-30 blend. Except these out here, these crystals have an 80-20 blend. So that's kind of, you know, kind of odd, but whatever. Then I come in with the Edgeless 365 that I only use for the door jams and the, uh, the rims, the, the, uh, the wheel of the car, to make sure I don't put any kind of micro marring inside of the wheels whenever I'm cleaning them, cleaning them and uh, polishing them out. So some people they come in, they use brushes and this then a this then a third on the wheels, especially on black wheels. After a while you can start seeing all those little uh micro marks you see that you would see on the black, on the black surface of a paint, uh black paint on the surface of a black car. You know what I'm saying? Those micro, let me have to slow down. Those swirls that you see on the black car, they can also get uh on the black rims if you use the wrong kind of things to clean up those black rims. So I use these towels to make sure I don't do that and to assure that I'm taking care of my customer's car the right way. Then I say the all-purpose towel that you can just use for either, uh, I, you can use this right here. If you don't, have, if you don't want to get these two towels, you can, for the, for the interior and for the wheels, you can get away with having this curtain towel. This right here is the, uh, is the um, cost efficient way of doing it. I had to learn the hard way, you know, I had to go through a, Go ahead and go through that process of going to, once I first start, oh, I gotta get the best piece, I gotta get the best piece, I gotta get the best step, I gotta get the, but I got to that point to where I found my way, like I found the towels, I found the chemicals, there's not a lot that I can use. Uh, I, don't, I don't have to have a whole lot of chemicals, I don't have to hold, have a whole lot of different towels. These are my towels that I use on a regular basis. Like I said, I do another video on the chemicals that I use, so y'all can see uh, what kind of chemicals that I use and the applications that I use them on. Um, like I said, these right here are the Kirkland uh, towel. It's an 8020 blend. You can get these from Costco. They come in a pack of 36. It's an all-purpose towel. You can use this on the wheels. It's cost efficient. You can use it on the wheels, door jams, uh, interior. Uh, that's really all I would really use it for, honestly. I wouldn't use it to remove any kind of coating, this, that, and the other. And if you do, be careful with it. That's how I would say. If you do use this towel to remove coating, just make sure you be careful with it. Make sure you're not putting any kind of defects or swirl, swirlage, you know what I'm saying, back inside of the paint. Because if you do that, yeah, you're messing yourself up. You're causing more work for yourself to do. So just go ahead and just use the right kind of towel for it, you know what I'm saying? So, hey, yeah, so anyway, man, hey, you just check out the towels I use, man. Hey, all I can do is tell y'all what I do, man. This is what I do on the regular, man, the towels I use, man. Like I said, the next video I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be dropping the, um, the chemicals that I use on the regular, which is gonna be the PNS paint gloss, paint uh, bead maker, interior cleaner. I'm gonna show y'all all of that. I'm gonna show y'all all of that, but make sure you like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell, bing, ring that bell, bing, ring that bell, bing, until it blows your head. <laughs> yeah, I got big things coming, man. I got big things coming. I'm gonna be up out here detailing with someone with some of the celebrities up out here, man. Like I said, man, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and ring that bell, man, because it's gonna be stupid, man. Nope it. Oh my God. Hey, but I can't do it if y'all ain't paying attention. I can't do it if y'all ain't paying attention. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell. Make sure you miss no new videos. No new videos. You don't want to miss that, because it's coming. It's coming. I've already talked to everybody. It's coming. But we need for y'all to do y'all part. Like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell, tell a friend.
follow the detail life. Hey, this is what I do, man. Stay tuned, man. Stay tuned, man. Until next time. Bye.